charcoal, tea, cheap charcoal, not good, it won't last as long, I've learned this the hard way, um, you need a good charcoal to keep your temperature, because you're going to want it between 200 and 225, at a steady rate, think for charcoal, for this stuff. charcoal wet. It's real warm too. And it's coming out of here. Now the key here is what a lot of people do is they don't let it burn down enough. You want the charcoal that looks like it ashes over. You want to burn all the fluid off from your starting fluid. You don't want any less flavor in your meat. It'll turn it back. As a matter of fact, that's another key. Don't ever use uh, match light. Real easy for the grill and for the smoker that you'll get that charcoal lighter flavor in your meat and it's just not that good at all. You want your charcoal to burn down, get a good heat going, let this sit, and right now while this is getting ready, I'm going to go inside and get the food out of the fridge and, and uh, out of the brine and get ready to go on this thing. Okay, we've had our fish in the brine for about, it's almost been two hours now. Um, we're going to take it out, we're going to season it and put it on the grill. Um, not too big of a deal. You season it to taste and how you really like it. 
I do more of a lemon pepper season, and I like a little bit of heat on some of mine, so I put some Cajun seasoning with it. Now, some people don't like Cajun seasoning, so I'm going to do half and half. But you just stir it out, put the lemon pepper on there, put a good coating on the top, Of your fish. This is where your flavor is going to come in besides the smoke. Your cake is seeing like saying, do have like saying. Flip them over. And put some on the back side as well. Now, some people like to smoke their fish with the skins on them, and it helps out a lot from the drying out. I just already had my fish skin, and I didn't realize I was going to smoke these particular. So we're just going to go with it like this. It's not that big of a deal. For something like salmon or something, it's a lot better to have the skin on the back still. It holds the oils and moisture in still. It helps with the flavor. Now let's go throw it on the smoker. Now you can see down in this smoker right now, the charcoal is just starting to ash over, not quite ready yet. I want to show you. You don't know how these work. There's a pan here that goes, of course you got the bottom pan of the charcoal, the one just like it that sits on these rings right here. And you're going to put this pan in there and you fill it with water. The trick that I like to do is I boil my water before I put it in there. That way it's already at temperature and it's hard. You don't have to spend all that extra energy with the charcoal bringing the water up to temperature. I go and pour, boil it on my stove, bring it out there, pour it in there. Um, and just before I pour the water on, I get my smoking chips, whatever I'm going to use, chips are really chunks of wood are better because the chips burn up so fast. But I soak them in water for a long time, for as long as possible, the whole experience of doing this, I soak them in water. Now you want to check and see the flavor. Make sure they're flaky. 
These are beautiful. Nice and done. You get a better look at them here in a second. You can see you're going to want to make sure they just flake apart. That's how you can always tell fish is done. Looks beautiful. Time to get the french fries and everything on the plate. Looks like dinner's ready. Crappie, uh, Senate Hill Lake. I'm a smoker. Woodbury, Tennessee. That's the total outdoor experience.